two Soweto women are suing the Department of Health after they gave birth with babies with cerebral palsy. The women claim nurses at Chris Hanibara Gwaneth Hospital were negligent during labor, and as a result, their children were born with severe disabilities. Asanda Maduna's child is now 12 years old and requires 24-hour care, making it impossible for her to work. And with the help of Joe Hubbard attorneys, Maduna is suing the Department of Health. Mapule Mabunga's granddaughter was also born with cerebral palsy, and she too blames nurses at Chris Hani Baragwanath Hospital. Uti umama ke ma ulomta na magezalo, uti tiso enyi ntomozana, le ntomozana ni ntomozana engani. Uti begu ntomozana engani, le ntomozana behi lala nye phone, yana ese ana ana ma pain. Le ntowi enze the whole night. The way umta na me angjele nga kona. Uti okta maga figa nga bopa sixi, ufigile wa faga nje umuno. Last year, during a medical legal summit, Health Minister Dr. Arad Motualedi lamented the rising costs of medical malpractice litigation, both in the private and public sector. And Gauteng Health Emissi Kadani Masangu agrees that this is a major problem for a department. So the, the, the scale of the problem in Gauteng, uh, I think in the years I'm talking about, uh, the numbers, uh, I do not have them at the top of my head, but are numbers that are worrying and we need to, we are dealing with the uh, case by case. Um, we've appointed a, a, law, a, a law firm a law firms to do the audit as well as uh, also interacting with number of stakeholders just to make sure that uh, even uh, putting systems in place, uh, working with the obstetricians um, who are leading these uh, uh, maternity services in the respective hospitals so that we prevent this from happening. To make matters worse, the affected families allege that their law firm, Joe Hubbard Attorneys, is not being forthright regarding the status of their claims. Eyewitness News spoke to a representative of the firm who declined to be interviewed on camera, although he did confirm that the two women are in fact clients. Vumani Mkize, Eyewitness News, Johannesburg.